Hello and welcome. Today, we're speaking with a candidate for the role of water treatment plant operator, a position critical to ensuring clean, safe water for our communities. Operators work behind the scenes to monitor, treat, and manage water systems with precision and care. One, what motivated you to become a water treatment plant operator? My motivation stems from a deep interest in environmental science and the desire to serve the public in a meaningful way. Clean water is a basic need, and being part of the process that ensures its safety gives me purpose. I was drawn to the mix of science and mechanics, particularly how chemistry, biology, and technology intersect to treat water. I enjoy working with complex systems and performing tasks that require attention to detail and responsibility. I like that this role combines independent work with teamwork and carries a strong sense of duty. The idea of directly affecting thousands of lives daily gives my work importance. I've always been a hands-on learner, and water treatment offers the perfect balance between theory and practice. My background in science and troubleshooting made this career path feel natural. What began as curiosity became a career where I can learn constantly and grow professionally. Knowing my decisions can help protect public health is motivating. Water treatment is essential to every community, and the knowledge that I play a role in that process keeps me committed and focused. It's rewarding, and the stability and long-term opportunities it offers are valuable too. That's why I chose this path. Two, can you describe your experience with monitoring and adjusting water treatment processes? Monitoring and adjusting treatment processes is a key part of my daily responsibilities. I regularly use SCADA systems to observe parameters like flow rates, chemical dosing, and pressure levels. I track pH, turbidity, and chlorine residuals using both automated systems and manual testing to ensure compliance. When parameters begin to drift, I adjust dosing pumps or valve positions to bring them back within acceptable ranges. I have experience working with coagulation, flocculation, sedimentation, filtration, and disinfection stages. For example, if turbidity increases due to rainfall, I adjust alum or polymer dosages and monitor the impact on clarifier performance. I'm proactive in identifying trends that might indicate issues before alarms are triggered. Adjustments are always documented in shift logs, and I communicate any changes clearly to the next operator to maintain consistency. I also participate in backwashing filters, verifying flow changes, and monitoring return to service timing. Safety and compliance guide all adjustments, and I rely on historical data and process knowledge to make informed decisions. I work closely with lab technicians when results deviate, helping identify root causes and responding appropriately. My focus is always on maintaining system stability and ensuring the final water meets or exceeds standards. The goal is reliability, and experience helps me achieve that. Three, how do you respond to equipment malfunctions or emergency situations? When equipment malfunctions occur, I follow a calm, structured approach. First, I verify the alarm and inspect the area for any immediate safety concerns. I isolate the issue using plant procedures, whether it's switching pumps, adjusting valves, or engaging standby equipment. For example, during a pump failure, I activate the backup pump and report the issue to maintenance for repairs. If a chemical feed system fails, I switch to the redundant system and notify the supervisor. I document the issue with time, cause, action taken, and any follow-up needed. In emergency situations like power outages or contamination risks, I follow the plant's emergency action plan. I coordinate with the team to stabilize operations and notify outside agencies if necessary. I've trained in emergency response and regularly participate in drills, so I understand the importance of acting quickly but accurately. I remain aware of system impacts and communicate clearly during high-pressure moments. I also analyze trends after the event to prevent recurrence. Good judgment, system knowledge, and communication are essential. The goal is to minimize downtime, maintain water quality, and keep staff and the public safe. I treat emergencies as opportunities to improve, ensuring our response is both effective and aligned with best practices. Four, what safety protocols do you follow when working with hazardous chemicals? Safety with hazardous chemicals is a top priority in my work. 
I always review the safety data sheets before handling any chemical and follow all personal protective equipment requirements, including gloves, goggles, aprons, and sometimes respirators. When transferring or mixing chemicals, I follow plant procedures closely and ensure all containers are clearly labeled and stored correctly. I never mix incompatible chemicals and check for leaks or signs of deterioration in hoses and tanks during inspections. In the event of a spill, I follow containment and cleanup procedures using appropriate spill kits and notify my supervisor immediately. I've completed training on chemical handling, emergency showers, and I wash stations and test that safety equipment regularly. During deliveries, I verify the chemical and storage tank match before transfer begins. I communicate with coworkers during high-risk tasks and follow lockout slash tagout protocols when servicing chemical feed equipment. Safety checks are part of my daily routine, not just something done when there's a problem. I also encourage others to follow protocols and report any unsafe conditions. Following these procedures protects me, my coworkers, and the community. Being vigilant and disciplined with safety ensures we can perform our duties confidently and without avoidable risk. 5. How do you ensure compliance with local, state, and federal water quality regulations? Compliance is central to water treatment operations. I stay familiar with all relevant regulations from the EPA and local health departments. I perform regular sampling and testing at various process stages to monitor parameters like pH, turbidity, chlorine residuals, and coliform bacteria. Each test follows approved methods, and I ensure samples are collected properly, preserved, and analyzed on time. All data is logged accurately and kept accessible for inspections or audits. If test results approach limits, I immediately investigate and make process adjustments to stay within compliance. I participate in monthly and quarterly reporting, double-checking accuracy before submission. I also attend training sessions to stay informed about regulatory updates and changes in reporting requirements. Compliance isn't just about checking boxes. It's about public trust. I take pride in maintaining clean records and meeting every deadline. I'm proactive when issues arise and take corrective action immediately. I view compliance as part of a broader goal, protecting public health and operating responsibly. By staying organized, thorough, and up-to-date, I ensure our plant consistently meets or exceeds all legal and quality standards. 6. What types of laboratory tests have you performed in water treatment? I've performed a variety of tests to monitor water quality. These include pH, turbidity, chlorine residual, temperature, hardness, alkalinity, and iron levels. I use colorimeters, titration methods, turbidity meters, and multi-parameter probes depending on the parameter being tested. I'm familiar with total coliform testing using presence-slash-absence methods and understand sample handling requirements for microbial analysis. For chemical dosing, I conduct jar tests to determine optimal coagulant levels based on raw water conditions. I also calibrate equipment regularly and follow QAQC procedures to ensure accurate results. Samples are collected from designated points in the system, labeled properly, and stored at correct temperatures before testing. I maintain lab logs with time, method, results, and any observations. If a test result is unusual, I retest to confirm and notify the appropriate personnel. Lab work requires patience, precision, and cleanliness. I understand the impact each test has on process decisions and regulatory compliance, so I never rush or skip steps. I take pride in accurate, timely results and always follow standard methods. My experience with both routine and special testing has helped improve system performance and resolve quality issues. Lab work complements field operations and gives a clearer picture of water quality. 7. How do you handle shift work and being on call for emergencies? Shift work is part of the job, and I'm comfortable working nights, weekends, and holidays. I manage my sleep and schedule to stay alert and consistent, regardless of the shift I'm on. I value communication during shift changes and always leave detailed logs for the next operator. When on call, I keep my phone charged and supplies ready to respond quickly. I treat every call as important and arrive prepared to diagnose and resolve the issue. I've responded to everything from equipment malfunctions to weather events, and I'm confident in my ability to work calmly under pressure. 
I coordinate with others to share information and restore operations efficiently. Flexibility is key. I adjust quickly to changing schedules and take care of my health to remain dependable. Working non-traditional hours has never been an issue for me because I understand the plant runs 24-7 and reliability is critical. I also support coworkers when they need schedule swaps or extra help. My goal is always to keep the plant running smoothly, no matter the time of day. Being dependable and responsive builds trust with the team and ensures the plant delivers clean water around the clock. Eight. What role does teamwork play in water treatment operations? Teamwork is vital in a water treatment plant. Operators rely on each other to maintain continuity between shifts, troubleshoot problems, and complete tasks efficiently. I make sure to leave thorough notes and communicate openly with coworkers to avoid misunderstandings. When something unexpected happens, having a team that supports one another makes problem solving faster and more effective. I also collaborate with maintenance staff during repairs and lab personnel when reviewing test results. Everyone's role contributes to the plant's success, and mutual respect keeps the environment productive. I've learned that sharing knowledge, offering help, and being reliable builds trust. Teamwork also ensures safety, as more eyes catch potential issues and coworkers back each other up during critical tasks. I participate in safety meetings, training, and group discussions to keep operations smooth. I believe good teamwork leads to better decisions and stronger performance overall. I contribute by being positive, responsive, and dependable in every interaction. A strong team helps ensure the public receives safe water consistently and without interruption. Nine, how do you stay current with industry trends and technological changes? I stay current by attending workshops, completing certification courses, and following professional organizations like the AWWA. I read newsletters, technical journals, and online resources to learn about advances in treatment methods, automation, and monitoring tools. I also talk with colleagues about new technologies or methods they've used successfully. When vendors visit, I ask questions and take notes on equipment updates or efficiency improvements. My goal is to apply what I learned to improve plant performance. I recently completed a course on advanced disinfection methods, which helped me better understand UV and ozone systems. I also participate in webinars and online training sessions that offer updates on regulatory changes or new testing protocols. Staying informed helps me make smarter decisions and adapt to future challenges. I take pride in being a resource to my team and sharing new knowledge. Continuous learning keeps the work interesting and ensures I'm ready to handle evolving demands in water treatment. Growth is part of the job and I welcome it. 10. What makes you a good fit for this role and our organization? I bring hands-on experience, technical knowledge, and a strong sense of responsibility. I understand the importance of water treatment and the trust the public places in us. I'm detail-oriented, dependable, and trained in both routine operations and emergency response. I communicate well, document thoroughly, and follow safety and compliance standards closely. I also work well in teams and take pride in supporting coworkers and learning from them. I'm adaptable to shifts, enjoy problem solving, and strive to improve processes where possible. What sets me apart is my commitment to doing the job right every time. I align with organizations that value reliability, transparency, and public service. I want to grow with a team that takes pride in its mission. I believe I can contribute positively from day one and continue learning to support long-term success. I'm motivated to help deliver safe, clean water, and I'm ready to do the work that makes it happen. Thank you for your time and thoughtful responses. Your knowledge, dedication, and commitment to public safety reflect the professionalism we value. We appreciate your interest in this role and look forward to the possibility of working together in the future.